Hi Madeline, this is Rebecca with your Assignment 1 Travel Poster Critique. Uh, this was a really great subject. I love Australia for these travel posters and the kangaroo, like you said, is you know native to this area and uh, so unique to the whole planet. <laughs> so I think it's great to use a kangaroo to represent Australia. Um, and I see the beach and the mountains, like you mentioned, you know, there's just such different terrain throughout that whole continent. It's really great. Um, I love what you did with the kangaroo with the really unique uh, colors used in it. The, the blue with the red and the brown, and it's just really nice. Um, I think his face looks really great, and just it's just fantastic. It gives it so much dimension and makes it so visually interesting. So great work there. Um, as far as composition uh, goes, this, this poster is feeling a little top heavy because there's so much negative white space down here on the bottom. And I'm a fan of white space. It just needs to, the whole piece needs to feel balanced for the, for the negative space to work. Uh, so what I recommend is playing with the, um, the rule of thirds and breaking this canvas into three, three panels and then moving uh, this text down into the bottom panel, moving this baseline of the beach here to the, th the line where the third, um, the dividing line of that bottom third, so it falls right on that line. And you can use this, you can do this using your rulers uh, for your artboard. And then um, um, just seeing how the text is going to work up here uh, once that's all moved down, once the other two things are moved down. This copy down here is hard to read um, when you're using a compressed font and you use all caps. It makes it kind of hard for the eye to read. So I recommend not using a compressed font if you're going to use all caps and breaking this up into two lines so it says the land and then underneath it down under. And that using the down under below is also kind of a play on the words. So, um, but you know, you play with it, see what looks right. If it doesn't look right to break it up, that's fine. I just don't recommend using a compressed font for that. Uh, the other thing too is you didn't use a, a compressed font here, but I see that Australia is compressed. Um, and maybe you did that using just, uh, you know, morphing the, the text and, um, or transforming the text. And I don't recommend doing that on this poster. So, um, you know, unless you're you're morphing it to really um, play with the typography to represent the message, and you're not really doing that here. So it's just um, there's a regular line of text, then there's a little bit compressed, and then there's like a lot bit compressed. So I recommend just keeping it all the same. So um, yeah, the other thing is this kangaroo. Once you move everything down. The kangaroo might want to get bigger so just play with it and see you know how that looks if there's room to make the kangaroo kangaroo even bigger then just go for it um, but I think you did a great job following instructions as far as you've got the correct dimensions for the poster you use less than seven colors yes <laughs> just had a recount there uh, you used fonts from the font list supplied and use less than two um, so great work there. I think that this turned out really wonderfully. And like I said, I just love the coloring that you use for your kangaroo. Great work. Mom.